right, Bucko. So today we're talking about Spider-Man 2. And apparently, we're going to start this video off with uh, the heaven proposals. Bruh. I know, like, the devs are getting them death threats. The toxic gamers are everywhere. <laughs> Man, I genuinely cannot believe this that the gamers are sending devs having proposals because so far we haven't seen any gameplay trailer. I just cannot even compute this. We're gonna talk about the gameplay and the, the, the leak details as well because we got brand new leaks for Spider-Man 2. Actually, Dennis, drop a thumbs up if you're not sending heaven proposals to the devs. Subscribe if you're new because apparently Aaron came out and he says that you can request, plead, and demand, but sending devs death threats isn't the best strategy for getting information about a video game. And, and I agree, and I do agree. These are, these are facts. Yeah. Bonus, sending the same thread to a community member will get you nowhere either. I mean, this is just next level, guys. This is next level. I, I know none of you guys are doing it, but I mean, damn, son. Like, damn, man. Y'all really be sending death threats to the, the, the homies out here over a video game. Guys, we are talking about a video game, but check this out, right? When are we getting the trailer? When are we getting the gameplay? Apparently, we're hearing this from Jeff Grubb, who recently came out, did say that we're gonna be having a Sony Pony State of Play, which is gonna be low dope mean. People are gonna be mad, and people were really mad okay let me just keep a buck 50 all right that happened and essentially now he's saying that see i told you one of my leaks came true now the second leak is about the playstation summer showcase Th that is going to be sec uh, setting up the second phase of ps5 announcements and during this showcase we're gonna likely hear about wolverine spider-man 2 hopefully gta 6 as well but that's probably not gonna happen but check this out so apparently there's a play tester who claims that he has played spider-man 2 early I don't know if that's true or not, but a lot of people are believing, and he has given us specific details, and he says I got back from playtesting Spider-Man 2, uh, PS5, looks amazing, and I cannot wait for people to see it, obviously some hitches, since it's still for just freshly past its beta phrase, from what I can tell. Anyway, stories got a relic from the original Venom story I've never seen elsewhere. Early in the game, Pete and Miles are scuffling the city for dude in a green ski mask who looks a lot like the Sin Eater. If you do not know, this is what he's saying. If you do not know, in the comics, Sin Eater was a serial killer in the NYPD and Eric a a Eddie Brock lost his job at the Daily Buggle because he interviewed some random guy who claimed to be the Sin Eater. Misleading the police and public, Spider-Man jumped the real Sin Eater and revealed him to be a police officer. This was one of the many things that caused Eddie to hate Spider-Man. Of course, I'm not claiming this will occur in the game because I plain do not know enough and I doubt they would adapt it that way because Peter is post buggle in the games. I can confirm that there is someone in the game that looks like the Sin Eater. And a lot of people oh, are oh, a lot of people are kind of actually excited about that from what I'm hearing. They asked us a few days before to test a few level script in their alpha phase much farther back than others are fake and from what I can tell the only things they had in common with the rest of the game was a darker tone otherwise the geometry was completely green and blocky I want to know your thoughts on guys apparently we had a massive bombshell that did say that uh, Microsoft might be selling Xbox I do not believe it but this news just happened click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because things actually got leaked out check these videos out guys and I will see you right there.